Let's go! Quick pass to Garrett Wilson. Touchdown! What a throw! Aaron Rodgers to Garrett Wilson! What is good, everybody? The New York Jets are back at one Jets drive for voluntary workouts. Yeah, you see the jersey, okay? I might have to just show off these jerseys real quick. I cannot believe how fast it got here. I got my Garrett Wilson black jersey. It's in the house. Come on now. Strike a pose. I mean, what are we even doing? Come on now. Freaking go. So clean. Okay. This is even better in person, bro. In better in person. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Okay. We got the jersey. I ordered this Monday and it's here on a Wednesday. So shout out to the Jets for giving me that that early. I might not take this off. Okay. I'm, I'm pumped up right now. And now we got content of Aaron Rodgers throwing the football. I can get worked up to be broken again. Just kidding. We're not going to be broken again this time. Right? <laughs> all jokes aside welcome back to jets media folks the jets are back at work voluntary workouts is fully underway the nfl draft is a week from tomorrow let's get it going folks let's get it going i appreciate you guys don't forget to hit the like button on your way in we're live on youtube we're live on twitter i appreciate you guys big time if you do want to enter a contest to win a free jets jersey Definitely go check out my Twitter and Instagram. I will be giving away two jerseys, one to a winner on X slash Twitter and one to a winner on Instagram. Go check out those posts if you want to enter for a chance to win. I'll be announcing that at the end of the week because you guys deserve something in return from your boy here because I appreciate what you guys have done for me and my YouTube channel and us being fans together. We deserve to celebrate. We got the jerseys. We got the new helmets, baby. Everything is beautiful. The NFL draft is right around the corner. And seeing the Jets back at one Jets drive just makes me feel so good, man. It just makes me feel so good. Oh, my God. The offseason program is well underway, and the NFL draft is right around the corner. Hit that like button on your way in, folks. We appreciate you guys big time tuning into the show. I don't know what other jersey I'm going to get. I got to get a green jersey. Be... I, Tough, though. I don't know which player to get. It might have to be a green Aaron Rodgers jersey. I already have a green Aaron Rodgers jersey, but it's last year's jersey. I did order the draft cap. It's not here yet. Um, I do have a signed sauce garter jersey that I'm going to frame. I did buy a frame that I'm going to eventually hang up. So I don't know. Some interesting stuff. Okay. Interesting stuff. So shout out to the chat, everybody. I missed you guys. People are telling me I should get Jermaine. Could be. Could be a Jermaine Johnson green jersey, right? Because I got the white Brees Hall behind us. I got the black Garrett Wilson jersey. I have a custom sauce jersey. I also have a black autograph sauce jersey I'm going to frame. So it could be Jermaine. I also would love to get like a Quinn and Williams or even a Quincy Williams or even like a CJ Mosley. You guys know how I feel about CJ. CJ Mosley jersey would kind of hit hard, right? Let's go. Can't go wrong with Jermaine Johnson either. But I digress. No one cares about what jersey I'm getting, okay? I already got Brees behind me on the wall. So that's that. Let's get into business, folks. The Jets are back. We were live on the huddle today on BetUS TV talking about the NFL draft class in terms of a quarterback perspective. And the Jets will be drafting a quarterback this year. Just the question is, who will it be? And I think that's the first thing I want to ask you guys. If... Uh, which jersey... Are you getting, is it the quarterback we draft? How fast are you, you uh, going to buy your Jordan Travis jersey, Jess jersey? I'm kidding. Who knows? Who knows? 
I appreciate you guys big time. I feel like the Jets are going to absolutely go crazy in the NFL draft. I know we're talking about the quarterback position because that's the most intriguing to me. The first round's intriguing too. Don't get me wrong. I have no idea where they're going. If I had to guess, it's it's Brock Bowers, but they also had a visit with Troy Fatanu from Washington. They had a visit with the top offensive line prospects, JC as well. Okay. They've met with Brock Bowers. They waited. Okay. They waited for Brock Bowers to come to the facility to wait for Aaron Rodgers to be there. Just saying. Let's go. Let's go. So I think the Brock Bowers hype is it's keep going. The Brock Bowers hype is getting louder and louder. And if you guys know me, you know how I feel about Brock Bowers coming to the Jets. I definitely would be on board. I, I would be on board, but the Jets are doing a lot of homework across the league, across every single position, including positions that Jets fans don't even want to be talking about. But if I was a betting man, which I am responsibly, I'm putting my money on Brock Bowers. And honestly, you should too. So let's check out the odds presented by our proud sportsbook sponsor, BetUS. Now, you look at BetUS's odds, you see, I mean, we've been looking at these odds for this past few weeks now, and they haven't changed. They've been very consistent, okay? They've been very consistent. These are the odds to go number 10 in the NFL draft. Let me know your guys' thoughts of this because I think it's so interesting that Brock Bowers is this much of a favorite. He's really a heavy favorite, bro, by a landslide, if you ask me. You look at the odds, plus 135, and then the next one next to him is Fuaga at plus 600. So let me know your thoughts of these odds of Brock Bowers being that much of a heavy favorite, okay? That's absolutely what I love, absolutely love to see. Because BetUS has a ton of odds, not only here on the number 10 overall pick, but they also have odds for every single overall pick in the first round. I'm super, super excited for it, bro. I'm super excited for it. So got to give another big time shout out to BetUS, the number one online sports book in the world, baby. Click that link that's pinned at the top of the chat to open up your BetUS account today. They offer a 125% Bonus on your first three signups. If you haven't heard of them and want to check them out, click the link in the description to open up your account right now. If you're just joining now, welcome in. We're talking about this, about the new odds presented by BetUS. So another big time shout out. I'm going to put my money on Brock Bowers. I know the odds are favored, but at plus 135, it's I feel like that's still pretty good. Still pretty, pretty good. Okay, there's a bunch of futures that they have as well. If you guys want to check out, they got the Jets win total at nine and a half. They got the Jets the odds to win the AFC East. They have a lot of fun prop bets all about your New York Jets in the NFL on their website. So please, guys, if you want me a favor, great way to support the channel here on the on Jets Media is not only by hitting the like button and stuff, but it's also by supporting the brands here. And BetUS is a big reason why. We're operating here on Jets Media the way that we do. So shout out to them. Bet US, America's favorite sportsbook and casino. Live betting and racebook. We're celebrating 30 years with a historic offer. A 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits. Plus 10% gambler's insurance. Get started today. Bet US, where the game begins. Let's go, Bet US, where the game begins. Woo! I'm excited, man. I'm excited for the draft. Let me know where you guys are placing your bets because you look at the odds. I'm looking at it on my phone right now. Brock Bowers feels like a lock. Just saying. Brock Bowers feels like a lock. But there's obviously trade down scenarios. There are scenarios where they can go offensive line. I am also have a dream of Roma Dunze. The fact that Roma Dunze is sitting at plus. 700, that's something I would love because if he falls to the Jets at 10, that's a big option. That's a big option. Does BetUS have an app or no? So the way I use BetUS on my phone is through like uh, Safari or Google Chrome, whatever browser you use. They don't have an app files, but you can use your phone. Just go on like BetUS's website through the phone. That's what I do. So shout out to the chat. Let me know right now, who is your draft crush? 
in the first round. Is it Bowers? Is it Adunze? Is it Latham? Is it Fuaga? Who is it that's realistic for the Jets to be there at number 10? Who ordered the Jets draft cap yet? Your boy did. You know your boy did. Thank you, Mommy, for the thumbs up. Look at that. Uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. I mean, that is definitely my draft crush, but he's not coming to the Jets. He ain't coming for, to the Jets, man. Eight more days. Can you imagine it? I'd rather trade it for neighbors if possible, and I'd take Latham over Bowers too. John is an anti-Bower boy. <laughs> Bowers with Rodgers would be deadly. 100%. If Adunze is there, they are taking him. I would love that. I would absolutely love that. Odense <laughs> or Brian Thomas. I mean, when are we ever, like, not going to have a debate between the inevitable playmaker versus per offensive line? You feel me? I feel like we're always going to have that debate. Always going to have that debate. Every year in the NFL draft. That's what it feels like, at least. That's what it feels like. Guys, don't forget to hit the like button on your way into the show, folks. We're live at 5 p.m., we will be live as well on the AFC East Roundtable tonight. It's going to be a big show that I'm excited about. So definitely go check out the AFC East Roundtable tonight. That's going to be live at 7.30 p.m. EST. And I would love for Jets fans to be there for it. We're going to be doing another mock draft. We're going to be doing a lot of fun things. That's going to be live today at 7.45 p.m. EST. Definitely go check it out. An NFL draft preview show where we'll do some... Mock drafts. We'll talk some smack with each other. We'll do a lot. Okay, we'll do a lot. You can go check that out at the AFC's Roundtable YouTube channel. Appreciate you guys. You think we win the division tonight? Um, Yeah. Yeah, we're going to win the division tonight. I'm surprised no mock drafts I've seen have taken or mentioned RAS scores in their mocks. We know JD loves them. You never know, man. Joe Douglas is very is a little more unpredictable than you think. Bowers, because if Rodgers is under pressure, he could check it down to Brees or Brock Bowers, and Bowers can break tackles to go down the field. Yeah. This year, I mean. No, no, no. Big belly, woo. We're winning the division tonight. That's what I like. That's what I like. <laughs> How about that? Go Knicks, by the way. You know it, John. Excited to see who we face up against tonight. Well, Richie, you're in for a disappointment. Jets are taking either a O lineman or a high end wide receiver at ten if they're smart. Uh, I will not be disappointed at all with this. If they take an offensive line or a high end wide receiver, your boy's excited. I'm not a Brock Bauer boy to the point where I'm crying if we don't take him. Just saying. Your videos get better and better. Last video was a great video. You know what? All of them are my best dream. Wow. This is the nicest thing I've ever heard from somebody in my life. Douglas, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate you guys tuning into my shows, man. I'm trying to get more consistent with you. Been, there's been a lot of stuff going on in my life. New relationships, just saying. Potential relationships, who knows. Significant others, just saying. Got a niece now. There's a lot of stuff going on in my life. Positive things, by the way. Travis has become a member of Jets Media. Let's go, Travis. Welcome to the community of the Jets Media membership program. Don't forget to use the emojis now in the chat of all your favorite Jets. How many games are you going to this year, my man? So I'm definitely going to be doing Jets Media Day, of course. Now, Jets Media Day, if you don't know, is a yearly event at a Jets game where I host a event at a game. We all party together. You buy a ticket through me. You get access to an all-inclusive tailgate with alcohol, drinks, food, you name it. I'll be doing a live show from the parking lot that you guys will have in-person access to. You also will be getting a Jets Media Day custom-made t-shirt for you. You will also be seated with me and the whole group, and you'll be getting a access to the field after the game. That's Jets Media Day. Don't know the game yet. Obviously, the schedule is not released, so I'm going to that game. And then I'm also going to be doing a roundtable event at a Jets game. So that's two. Um, and then I do like to do live reactions for the games as well. 
So we'll see. That's how, I, that's how I'm operating for this season. I'm excited. And also going to an away game. <clears throat> Potentially. Potentially. Richie, why is it bad if the Jets take Bowers and draft a lineman at 72? Are the linemen terrible at 72? Get a weapon at 10, then depth at 72. I think that's very likely, Mike. I don't think that's bad. I think that's extremely likely. I also think it's likely for the Jets to trade back up into the second round. Package our two-fourths to go get a better player in the second round. I wouldn't put that past Joe Douglas either. For sure. Who do you think the GOAT is right now on the roster? The best player is Aaron Rodgers, accolades-wise, future Hall of Famer. Next to him, though, Sauce Gardner. See Quinn and Williams. I agree with Mike. Mike agrees with Mike. <laughs> Weapon at 10, O-line in third and fourth. I like it. Mutt Viles, member for eight months. Let's go, bro. Richie, after the draft, do you see the Jets trading for anyone? If so, who? Also, how far are the Knicks going and who is their biggest threat? The Knicks are going to the NBA Finals, okay? Their biggest threat are the Boston Celtics. How about that? Um... That's show that is that should be the mindset for the Knicks, by the way. I can definitely see the Jets not maybe trading for somebody, but signing like a David Box Yari if we do not go offensive lineman in the first round. I still think that's a possibility. I think that David Box Yari could be a Jet still if we don't draft an offensive lineman in the first round. Just saying. Appreciate the membership, brother. Appreciate you. Mets are doing really well. Yes, they are. How about those Mets sweeping the Pittsburgh Pirates? Winning, what, 10 of the last 13 after 0-5? Yeah, baby, Yankees fans are nervous. Uh-oh, here we go. Yankees fans about to come at me. Rich, who cares? Mets suck. Okay, it's a joke. David, I don't understand. What has been said, we should give up draft capital to get a playmaker, but we wouldn't take Brock, a playmaker, at 10. Brock Bowers is a dynamic playmaker at 10, bro. Jets fans have to open up their minds to that. I don't care. You have to open up your mind to the idea of Brock Bowers. Maybe you're not a huge advocate and you're not pounding the table for him, but you absolutely have to open up the mind for that. Very, very high probability. This defense will be like Great White Sharks this year, plus with our quarterback on his massive revenge tour, we are going to scorch entire NFL. Go Jets. David Hall, absolutely bad. That's the energy we need. And I also kind of like that the Jets, I feel like we're being slept on which I like. I'd rather the Jets be underdogs and nobody talk about us than last year's hype was way too much. It was way too loud. Oh, my God. I mean, as fans, it was, it was like, different, okay? It was, like, a, it was different for us as fans to kind of feel that much national hype. Hard Knocks obviously put us on the map. Even before Hard Knocks, it was just, like, everybody was talking about the Jets, everything. But now... Everyone's like, yeah, they're they're all old. They they got these old, washed up, injury riddled players. The Jets. I mean, like for example, when the Jets released their new uniforms, and like ESPN and NFL Network, and they would cover it on social media. You look at the comment section on all the posts on social media of these like rival NFL fans. Oh, seven wins never looks so good. Six wins. Who cares about New Jersey's? They still suck. It's like good. That's 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 the energy I want. That's the energy I want from you, from the rest of the league, from NFL fans that are not Jets fans, thinking that we stink, thinking we're the same old Jets, thinking we're going to fall on our face again. That's the energy I want. I want to exceed expectations. Last year, expectations were so high, and it all came crumble down and exploded in our face right away in record time. <laughs> so my point is I like that. We're being slept on. Love it, actually. Absolutely love it. Because I'm sure there's going to be some people that see the Jets coming. But boy, oh boy. When we click, bro, it's over. I'm telling you guys this right now. I've never had this much confidence in, 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 in this Jets team in my life. Like, you look at this team on paper, bro. You look at this team, like, film last year from a, as a defense, adding in Hassan Reddick. You throw in Aaron Rodgers with all the new players on the offense, mixed in with Garrett and Brees, with another year of Izzy developing. I mean, 
with that, but even before the NFL draft, dude, the league is done. Like, I don't want to overhype our team too much, but like, bro, keep sleeping on us. That's all I'm going to say. Keep sleeping on us, bro. I love it, especially the haters. Even if we win, it's all the haters going to discredit somehow. It's all right. Let them feel how they feel. If we may, if we win the division, there's nothing that they can discredit. Oh, uh, if we win the division and like somebody's like say, I don't know. I don't even care. If, if it gets discredited, let it get discredited. I just want to be happy as a Jets fan, and Jets fans deserve nothing but happiness. Everybody wants to take a weapon at 10. I understand that, but let's trade down offensive line, get a second, then take a wide receiver, but let's see what happens. Go Jets. We'll see. David, giving the people what they want to hear. Ready for Reddick and Johnson to bully Josh Allen is going to be my season hype. Yeah, bro. I don't know about you guys. Sorry if there's any Bills fans watching, but I am not afraid of Josh Allen and the Bills at all. I don't. I think that's a bad thing. I think of the Bills and Josh Allen as like cupcake, which I shouldn't, by the way. They are the reigning division champions. They deserve respect. But when it comes to the Jets versing the Bills, bro, not afraid of them at all, especially without Diggs, bro. Yeah, they might trade up for this receiver in the draft. Cool, but not afraid of him, just being honest. My black Brees. Let's go, Travis. I'm wearing my black Garrett one. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. All gas, no break. Will McDonald taking a JJ leap would make this defense scary. I don't... I think Will McDonald is going to have a Bryce Huff type of... Um, trajectory of development rather than Jermaine Johnson personally. Because I think they're, the Jets are going to use Will McDonald exactly how they used Bryce Huff last year. And that's a situational pass rusher. And I think he's going to thrive in those scenarios. Let's not forget that majority of Jets fans think Will McDonald is a bust. So I'm hopeful that that can be proved wrong. The only way I don't want them to trade down is if Rome is there. Bro, Roma Dunze... Getting Garrett Wilson partnered up with another dynamic receiver for the long term. Because what that does is it gives the Jets flexibility to extend Garrett Wilson after the season, speaking of the devil, and having our number one, number two receivers for the long term. 100% Richie, trade down, offensive line, when wide receiver, first two rounds. I like it. Bill's roster looks depleted right now, but it's pre-draft. I prefer not jinking us, sweeping those guys, especially Clemens' buddy. I think we'll split with them. I'm not I'm not saying we're going to sweep them. It's hard to beat the Bills in Buffalo. It always is. Why is Josh Allen trash? Also, they can't do anything in the playoffs. We're coming for the division, Buffalo. The AFC East runs through the New York football Jets. Rodgers is going to ball out this year. Oh, my God. Please, Rodgers. Guys, don't forget to hit the like button. Let's go. We need more likes on this video, baby. How many likes we got? Just under 50 likes? We can do better than that. Come on now. Hit the like button for your boy. Let's go. You never know what could happen, but I would love if Will McDonald got more sacks than Huff. Used to love him, but he can kick rocks for not wanting to be a Jet. Yes. Um. Yeah, rooting for our boy, of course, Bryce. But... It'll be hard for Will McDonald to get more sacks. Jermaine Johnson could. Hassan Reddick could. Sweep. I've been at Rich Stadium for two Jets wins. There we go, John. I was at that stadium too many times. I was at that Sam Darnold game. When I was in college up there, I went to a lot of Jets-Bills game in Buffalo. Happy to report that I have no plans to go back because it sucked. <laughs> Just saying. Oops. My NFL draft plans, in case anybody was wondering or forgot, your boy will be at MetLife Stadium for the first round of the NFL draft. I was invited to an exclusive watch party at the stadium. Um, the Jets are hosting a big watch party with fans, but apparently I'm going to be with like former players, and I'm going to be doing a live stream from my phone. So definitely stay tuned for that, and I'll be live on this YouTube channel during the draft. we we'll would love for you guys to be tuning in and reacting to who the Jets get in the first round. It's going to be a lot of fun. Also, Rodgers, Wilson, Brees will all be top five in fantasy this year. Watch it happen. 
I don't know about Rodgers, but definitely Brees and Garrett. Like, I don't know how Rodgers is going to be in fantasy because there's going to be games where the Jets win like 31 to 17 and Rodgers has like 202 yards, one touchdown, no picks, but we win 31-17 because of Brees, because of a defensive touchdown. Like... I don't know how good Aaron's going to be in fantasy. We don't need him to be good in fantasy. We just need him to help us win football games. But hey, I, you know I'll be drafting Aaron Rodgers still in, in fantasy. If anybody knows how I operate in fantasy football, I lose every year because I draft my Jets every single year. Kelly will be at MetLife. Let's go, Kelly. I'm rooting for your heat tonight, Kelly. I want Miami against the Knicks. I want to sweep the heat. How about that? Let's freaking go. I missed out on the MetLife event because I thought it would be uh, I would be at work. It's sold out now. Damn, my boy. Let me know if anybody's going to the MetLife event. I don't even know where I'm going to be. I got to, like, reach out to where I have to go. We shall see. Love to hear more about your, what you guys think about this upcoming NFL draft and where the Jets are going to go. I love how the Jets fans are just divided, as always. It just feels right at home for us to be debating where they should, where they should go. Offensive line or wide receiver? You let me know. As you think about that, let's hear a word, a brief message from a proud sponsor that I'm very, very passionate about. I'm a daily user of this product. You know them. Man to sleep. As you all know, we've had a proud sponsor of Jets Media for quite some time now, and they happen to be Manta Sleep. Now, if you guys want to use my promo code JETS, you will get a 10% discount code. That link is down below in the description. Now, you might be wondering, what is Manta Sleep? If you guys have any struggles with sleeping, I cannot highly recommend more the Manta Sleep Pro Mask. Now, I've been using this since they became sponsors on the channel a months ago, months ago, and I literally wear this exact sleep mask every single night before sleep. Again, guys, this is what you got to invest in if you're having any difficulty with sleep. It is the most advanced sleep mask on the market, and I promise you, you will not regret getting your sleep mask. It absolutely takes out the light, 100% blackout, zero eye pressure technology, so when you put it on, you can open your eyes, but really, my favorite part about it is it completely turns out the light. So even if you want to put it on for a midday nap, or even you don't even want to take a rest, you just want to put the sleep mask on, even meditate, it's a really mindful practice, and I cannot recommend them more to you guys. They have a lot of different masks on their website. This happens to be the Pro Mask, which I personally recommend. It's what I use, but don't forget, use that link down below in the description, 10% off discount code. They have a Bluetooth mask if you want to listen to music. They got a silk mask. They got ones for kids. They got a weighted mask. They got a cool mask. Definitely check out their website. Can I recommend them, recommend them more? Thank you, Matt to Sleep, for being a proud sponsor of Jets Media. All right, shout out, man, to sleep. I want you guys to help me out because I'm thinking about buying another jersey. Yeah, I am completely losing my mind, and I want to get another jersey. Oops. I'm addicted, bro. I'm addicted to these uniforms. I'm, I'm on their site right now. And I'm, you guys help me in the chat. Where do I go? If I got, I'm not sure I'm going to get one yet, but I'm curious to see if you guys, this is the one that I just got free express delivery. That's why it came so fast. This is the one I got wearing right now. Boy, oh boy. Oh my God. 350 bucks. Damn. That's like the real, real Jersey. That's crazy. That's a lot of money. Joe Namath one looks pretty good. Which one do I go? Oh, you can go any name. Haha. -ha, see, this is what we like. This is what we like. You can get any player. I can get Thomas Hennessy. Look at that. I already have black, though, so I don't want black. Can I change? Oh, no, this is the black. White. Where's the green? 
Where's the green any name option? Come on. Where are you at? Damn, bro. They're so clean, man. I love these jerseys so much. Uh, The free express delivery, man. Love it. So I guess you can't choose any name for the green option. What kind of bogus is this? All right. I'll figure this out another time. Get a Greg Zerline jersey. That could work. <laughs> I mean, a Greg the leg jersey would kind of hit hard, wouldn't it? Do the one... Interesting approach. Well, maybe I'll just wait for my Brock Bowers jersey. Wink, wink. Brock Bowers, question mark? You never know. I don't know, man. I, they don't have a CJ Mosley jersey available. What's that? I don't see CJ in the new uniforms. This is so nice. Ooh, I kind of like their... Oh, man, these toddler ones are fresh. The toddler ones are fresh. Too bad my niece is a Bills fan. Otherwise, I'd buy her one right now. Well, she's not technically a Bills fan, but her dad is, so I'm not going to invade and give her a Jets jersey as badly as I want. Damn, their authentic jerseys are crazy. Sorry, I'm literally like live right now looking at their shop. <laughs> and yeah, we're just having some fun. A week before the draft. What other things do they got though? Do they have besides jerseys? Let's see. What's their hat? I did buy their draft hat. I did get this. That's going to be sick when that comes in. But what else do they got? Damn, bro. Damn. The all black. What do you guys think of? Ooh, that one's too clean, brother. What do you guys think of this logo? The alternate logo. You guys like this? I feel like that's pretty sick. Now, this one is an interesting one. What do you guys think of this? I tweeted this out, and I got some mixed reviews from Jets fans. This one, I'm not going to lie, has grown on me. At first, I didn't get it, but now I understand this logo. It's simplistic, and it's basically just the, the plane without the, the jet. The jet's font. You know what I mean? It's basically that, but without the J-E-T-S. Like, it's kind of it kind of works. It's kind of discreet, too. Tell me this just doesn't scream Woody Johnson. Oh, boy, this is what I have to get. Oh, my gosh. Yup, I think I'm buying this right now. This is my type of hat right here. Oh, you guys can see me rocking this, right? Yeah. Oh, boy. I am such a sucker for those hats. With the rope and the 47 on it, this might be the one, bro. Even though I did just buy this one, which are they're kind of similar. But, bruh, damn, this is, the, this is the hat right here. This is the hat right here. What do I do about it? Am I getting it? Do I buy it right now? What do we think? <sighs> I don't know, man. Sorry, I'm like not, I'm like totally distracted right now. The one I do love though, I'm not going to lie. If you guys refresh the, the page, if you guys refresh this feed, I just added a product to this stream. Let me know if you guys can see it because yeah, it's the, if 
it's this hat right here. This is fresh. It's cool because they they now have a feature on YouTube where I can add a product of from Fanatics underneath the, my shows. So I can like link a product. And the cool thing is apparently they give the creators like me a commission if you guys bought this somehow. So like just being fully transparent with you guys, this is how YouTube works. It's a brand new feature. If you add a product and you guys purchase this with the link through YouTube, I get commissioned somehow. I don't know how it's even possible, but hey, I guess that's the future of this world. <laughs> but I digress. I want to get back in buying this because I think this is where I'm about to do it. If you refresh the page, you'll probably see the product link show up underneath the show. Andres wants a Quinnen. Hmm. That white cap is fresh, but this 47 hat, man. Man, your boy is going to go broke. I'm going to go broke, bro. Look at these hats, dog. I already purchased a hat. Why am I about to buy another one? I love hats. I want a hat with their new alternate logo, too, on it. Damn it. Uh, Tyron Smith is wearing number 77. I kind of want this, too. Like, their new alternate logo hat. That's fresh. A nice, clean, green hat. That's kind of sick. You guys think it's too much for me to buy this, even though I already bought their draft hat, which is basically, that's different. It's white J-E-T-S. This is a black and green vibe. Adding it to the cart. Figure it out. We'll figure it out. Well, folks, again, we're going to be live on the AFC's roundtable tonight at 7.30 p.m., 7.45-ish here on the AFC's roundtable. Don't forget to check me out over here. We'll love for you guys to come tune in. It's going to be me, Dan, Colby, and TD to break down all things NFL Draft one week away. Appreciate you guys tuning in. We're going to wrap up the show here. Hit that like button on your way out. The Jets are back in town, back at work. Aaron Rodgers is in the building, and the vibes are immaculate. New Jersey's already here. You love to see it. We're going to wrap up the show here, guys. Got to get some dinner in the system before tonight's show. Thank you guys so much for all the love and the support. As always, your boy's out. Let's go Jets, and I'll see you on the AFC's roundtable tonight, baby. See you guys then. Much love. Peace.